Okay, so here we are. I am super excited to show you my first rods journal. And I'm also super excited because I tried to do this twice on both of my other cameras and did not have enough time. And I had actually just bought me an iPod the other day. Don't tell anybody because I actually really don't like Apple that much. But had no idea I could make videos with it. Who knew? <laughs> anyway, so I'm also using that to make my video. Super cool. Okay, so here is the front open that up. Now I didn't have a chance to make a video obviously before I started journaling in it so you get to see my first few pages where I started journaling. So here's my first page. I'm not really sure if this video is going to work with the lighting but maybe I can work on that later. This is a black page so obviously I wrote in white. I just used a plain old cheap colored pencil that I had already my little second page I actually put in some little photos of the other two journals I'm actually working on which is a Tisha Moore journal and I made an easy peaser journal easy peasy yeah say that a couple of times twice there okay so love the Beatles here's a nice I can tuck something in here but I haven't yet and I actually left that space blank if I wanted to come back and fill it in and uh, this was a day after work <laughs> and this is actually a little rose petal from the roses my best friend sent me for Mother's Day very very nice um, here I actually have in a little clear film little thing I actually stuck in a little sheet where I made a promise to myself I didn't want to leave it I wanted it to be able to come out so I could read the promise again later Alright, so there's that page. This is what I journaled yesterday. And this is today. I've already got my date and everything on there. But I haven't actually started journaling yet. I'll probably do it before I go to bed. So then here we get to the rest of my regular pages. Kind of flip through those fast. I'm sure you guys are tired of listening to me. I'm sure I sound like a chipmunk. This was an old page out of a little itty bitty composition journal I had with me that I was carrying around for a while. I loved this, adding in my little films, negatives there, plain page. I left a lot of space for me to journal on because I really do um, journal more than I use pictures and such. Um, this is a little piece of paper that a friend of mine wrote the directions. <laughs> On after I left him in Canada, I took a vacation on Canada a couple years ago, and these were his little directions. I wanted to keep that. I miss him a lot. This is one of my. This is my first center page here. Let me just go back through here. Another one of those little guys. This is actually a handmade piece of paper that I made. Another one of my lovely film strip, little piece of fabric. Love this. I'm a if I had been skinnier, I would have been a ballerina, surely. <laughs> this is actually a little tri copy page here from some of my husband's work papers. It's a little pocket. I have like loads of these little note papers. Another black page. And I put this, I sewed this in to kind of be a bookmarker. Obviously, I hadn't used it. I guess I should put that on the page where I'm actually working. There's a little, this is a little moo card with my information on it. Those were so cute. Alright, so this is my second signature. Love color, love that page there. This is a little page I can tuck in. This is like from oh, 19, well it says it expires on 1992, so who knows when I got it. That's my uh, hunting little thingy where I learned to use shotguns. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> Here's a little clear page. These, I used these were something extra I had laying around and they were really hard to sew through. 
so I probably won't use those again. Yeah, Intelligence and Creativity. This came out of a psycho psychology school book I had there, college book. There's a little, just a clear pocket I made. There's this. This is actually half of a manila envelope, little tiny one. Well, not tiny, but whatever that I had, and I'll show you the rest of it when we get to that page and see why I used it. Here's my little thing. Creativity is, these were actually from uh, one of my classes in college where I made my little study note cards here. I have whole bunches of these little whatever baggy doos. <laughs> Oops, sorry, my finger. <laughs> my hand's getting tired from holding the little camera. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of these little baggies, as I said, that's, they're the wrong size, so a bunch of those. I'll put those in here. Another one of my little note cards. This, um, actually is from a really good book. This is from, uh, Coraline from, no, 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 I take this back. This is Neil Gaiman's, uh, not Coraline. I haven't read that one yet. Oh, the other one, Stardust. And, our new dog that we got had ate it, so I didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to keep it, so I reused it. That was great. Okay, so here's the other half of that notebook. I actually cut it off so I could stick stuff here, too. It's got my old name with my maiden name and an old address I used to live in, so I didn't cap it because I drew a pretty little flower on it, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So I finally found a use for it, so that's good. Just a little doodle page out of my notebook from school back in my thinking I could go to school days. Alright, here's a little pocket I made out of my little biohazard bag. Got that from work. Don't tell anybody. The other half of my clear page. And just more out of that psychology book I had. And this actually is a... This opens up here. I want to keep that of my name on it. I wrote on it. Um, this was from orientation where we stuck our little names up so that other people could see what our name is. Whatever. But I kept that and put that in there. Here's my little no smoking, not a smoker, don't like to smell like smoke, don't want to smell smoke. There was loads of these from my old job and um, got a bunch of those, so. Alright, here's a little color page of that. I stuck in a little origami piece of paper there so I could journal on it. There's my little last page. There you can see my bag. I'm going to tuck it over here and close it. See that? I'll flip it over. This is actually my back, which I love, which I actually meant for it to be on the front, but I was being so busy creating there that I <laughs> forgot to place it on the front. Yeah, so whatever. So there you have it. Okay. And also, my first video ever. So how embarrassing. Eight minutes of me talking and sounding like a chipmunk. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I actually really, really love doing this, love this class. I have already made two more for Christmas presents and working on two more. So, thanks.